Today we discuss intraarterial injection of thiopental sodium. In this video, we discuss pathophysiology, clinical features, and management of intraarterial injection of thiopental sodium. So let's go to start our lecture. Intra-arterial injection of thiopental sodium. This is usually the result of inadvertent injection into the brachial artery, or an aberrant ulnar artery in the antecubital fossa but has occurred occasionally into aberrant arteries at the wrist. Pathophysiology Mixing of thiopental with arterial blood Intraarterial thiopental causes profound constriction of the artery accompanied by local release of norepinephrine. Crystals precipitate due to changes in pH. Blocked of arterioles and capillaries. Endothelial damage. Arterial thrombus, thrombus caused by endarteritis. Adenosine triphosphate release from damaged red cell and aggregation of platelets. Ischemia or gangrene in parts of the forearm, hand, finger. Clinical features. The patient usually complains of intense, burning, pain, and drug injection should be stopped immediately. The forearm and hands may become blanched and blisters may appear distally. Ischemia or gangrene in parts of the forearm, hands, and fingers. Severe vasoconstriction and disappearance of radial pulse. Management. Always use 2.5% solution. Inject very slowly in incremental doses. Damage is more with 5% thiopental. Avoid thiopentone injection at antecubital fossa. Best site to inject thiopentone is dorsum of hand. Leave the needle at site. All therapeutic injections are to be given through this needle. Short dilution with normal saline. Inject heparine to prevent thrombus formation. Inject local vasodilators, lignocaine 5 to 10 milliliters of 1% xylocaine. Stolate ganglion block. Continue oral coagulants for one to two weeks. Defer the elective surgery. Thanks for watching. Anesthesia with Dr. T. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks.